Going into the finals, I'd say that when I walked over there, you know, I had a talk with God and I told him that I wanted him to guide my feet and that I wanted him to show the world what he's capable of doing. And so while I was sitting there, like I could literally feel his presence and all I could see was my lane in front of me and everything else was cloudy. And so then in that moment right there, I knew that you know, no matter the outcome of the race, that I was going to be okay because he was there with me. And so once I got out the block and I was running and then I got up into my top end speed and I was just there and I was just there and then I saw the yellow out of the corner of my eye and I thought the Oregon girl won. But uh, when I saw my name on the board, I kind of just lost it because I was like, oh, wow, I actually did it, you know, so. It was it was pretty um, it was a pretty special moment for me. I mean, she puts the work in every day, and we've talked about it for over a year. You can ask the staff. Like last year, I said to the girl, I said, at the end of next year, you, your life is going to be totally different. The morning of the race, I said to her, your life's never going to be the same after today. And she said, I know, because we've been prepping for it every time, and she's in it for the long haul. So, it, you know, in life, sometimes you got to go back a couple steps to move forward. So we went all the way back to square one with her and just painted the picture. I see fight. I see me fighting against the odds and I see me not using the fact that I'm at a smaller D1 school stopping me from achieving what I know I can, uh, can achieve. Yeah. And then from Coastal Carolina, it is Jefferson who steals it at the end.